All right, welcome back. As you have seen, we finished with parts one, two, three, and four. We cut out uh, one table from the point cloud that you can see here on the image. And uh, we exported this table into a separate last file named table. We measured the perimeter of the table uh, and also calculated the area of the table by using a mathematical formula, PR squared, all right? Or you can also use a built-in function, which is available on Cloud Compare, but um, this I leave uh, for you, okay? To work with it at home, not going to show it. Okay, the last thing is five, cut out the pipe from the point cloud. How we will do that? We're going to do the same process once more. Are we going to use, uh, Segment uh, set the segment tool to export the pipe and then measure the length of the pipe uh, and export the pipe into a separate last file, which we can anytime load back to Cloud Compare. And the last thing to do is calculate the volume of the volume of the pipe, which you can do either by using a mathematical formula for volume or fitting um, fitting a cylinder to the pipe and then calculating the area using the built-in function from Cloud Compare. But this is advanced. Uh, this is a little bit advanced, not an introductory uh, exercise. So th this I leave to you if you want to do it. All right, so how to do step five. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, from the previous work we did, we have selected our table. And if we go back to our previous scan, which I hope you did not delete, uh, which which has all the building or the office of the building, uh, the kitchen area with the roof included. You see, this is our selected table that we exported and uh, saved. And now we are interested only in one of those two pipes there. Um, and what we're going to do now first is we're going to deselect the table move it a little bit up so it's not on the way when we work. Uh, perfect. And now we only left with the scan that uh, we processed at the beginning of these video series. All right. So here I'm going to apply the well-known function called, what is it called? Yes, plane selection, cross section, yeah, cross section. We're going to apply cross section to cut out the, the lower part of our point cloud, okay? So once you have your cross section, try to keep the selection as close to the roof as possible. So only include the roof, right? You can turn it around and see what you, do, what, what you did. Um, and once you're sure that you did uh, everything, you can click the slice and create a new new slice from your point cloud. Okay. And this will take around 10 seconds, maybe less. Uh, level eight, level nine, level 10. Yeah, it took around nine seconds, perfect. And now we can close this cross section window. And this is our new scan with only the roof. We can rename this, of course, roof and first i want to do a different color i'm going to use uh, colors and now i have to search for a pipe let's say i think i will go with this pipe of course the pipe is not fully scanned because the as you can see the pipe this pipe is not fully scanned because uh, the instrument could only scan the lower part of the pipe not the whole pipe there is also one pipe here which we could use uh, I think this is a little bit better. Let's just navigate to the point cloud a little bit. Right click, go down and then turn around. Turn around and check the pipe. Yeah, this is the pipe. Yep. This is our pipe, one part of the pipe. I'm not sure which one we should pick. It's up to you, really. I think I'm going to pick this one here. Yeah. yeah. 
this is a this is a good example. This is one part of the pipe which we can pick. Okay, so turn around and select only the pipe. I went too far. Yes, we have it. Now what we're going to do is apply, click on the roof and apply this skisser tool, which is called segment tool, which we already used before. And now we have to do a rectangle selection to create a rectangle. Okay, not this one. Try to turn the point cloud so that you view it parallel to the pipe. So you have no problem of uh, creating a rectangle. In this way, perfect. Yeah, something like that. I think here we can draw a beautiful rectangle and select only the pipe, this, this pipe, part pipe. All right, so let's do this once more. Select the rectangle. And select this area here. Okay, once we finished, we right click. After the right click, we click the red button, segment in, and this will select only the points that are inside this rectangle. Good. Once we have done this, we're gonna confirm our segmentation with the red check mark, uh, green check mark. And now we're gonna unselect the previous roof. And we only have now or pipe or part of the pipe, let's say. Okay, and this is the view from below. This is the view from below. And now we're going to select just this part of the pipe. So we have to perform the segmentation process once more. So let's go back. Once again, click the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle around the pipe, right click, and then segment in. Segment in will only select now the pipe itself, which is scanned from below, okay? Perfect, we apply this, we're gonna deselect the previous view and we only have our pipe now. And as we can see, uh, this pipe has some areas where most of the points have been reflected. And this is this area here. Here's also some missing information. I don't know why, maybe because of the coloring of the pipe or some other problems, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm interested in the length or the distance between, let's say these two lines right here. Or you can also do the whole, whole line here or the whole pipe. Whatever. Let's say we want to measure the distance from here to here. How are we going to do that? We go to tools, um, point list picking or point picking. Let's do point picking. And we're going to select two points and display the segment information between those two points. So let's click here. And let's click here. We can measure. The, length, the distance between those two points on the scanned pipe. And it tells me that it's one meter 27 centimeters, which is like a normal distance uh, for the pipe. We can also measure the width of the pipe. Uh, if I'm interested in, see, I can turn it around. Uh, the scanner did a really good job. I can turn this around a little bit. Uh, let's see, like this. Zoom in, perfect. Uh, and once again, I'm going to tools, point picking. I'm gonna pick this point and this point. Oh, I have to pick the segment once more. Tools, point picking, select two points. And I'm going to select this one and that one. And this tells me that the width of the pipe is 0 0.7 meters, okay? So 69 centimeters together. 
So why is this useful uh, in laser scanning? Laser scanning can be very useful in, uh, in uh, plant design, for example, where you have uh, unaccessible areas where you, humans cannot climb up and see the damage that uh, the pipes have, for example. And uh, you can measure the distances very easily with, uh, with software like that. Uh, between pipes and uh, check out the damage that uh, has been going on on those plants. So this is why this is useful. Now, if you want to calculate the volume of your pine, uh, pipe, uh, what you could do is measure, measure the radius from the pipe or fit, let's say you fit a cylinder in this part of the pipe with the tools fit fit a plane, not a plane, but uh, uh, a sphere or actually a cylinder. And then from here, you can uh, calculate the volume of your pipe or you can just even measure. So that was seven, 69 centimeter, centimeters divided by two, that's the radius. It's around 35 centimeters is the radius. And you can use the mathematical formula for volume calculation, which is, uh, two times P times R, right? The radius times the length or the height of the pipe, which was one meter 30 centimeters in our case that we measured. That's how you can calculate the volume, for example. Okay, this is okay. And, and the last thing to do here is to cut out the pipe, which we did measure the length of the pipe. I just explained to you how to calculate the volume of the pipe, for example. Uh, if you want to, you can uh, play around a little bit more with this and uh, find the, the plane here uh, and the function here to calculate the volume. And also, um, last thing is to export the pipe into a separate la last file. How to do that? I'm just going to rename this into a pipe. And I am going to save this into my folder named pipe and the extension has to be less. I'm going to keep the resolution and now we have our pipe. All right, beautiful. Now, if I want to go back to my previous, previous uh, scan where we have the roof, we can basically export the whole pipe, the bigger pipe also, or the two bigger pipes and see if they're damaged or not. Okay, so make sure you have this view from, from bird's eye perspective. And we are going to use the segment tool. Okay, now we have a bird's eye perspective of our area. The next thing to do, we can either use this cross section first. No, not this one, but this I have to deselect. And I'm only working with this now. Yes. And now I apply the cross section tool on my pipe. Yes. First cross section. Now it's easier to it's easier to do it with uh, the segment tool because then we lose the view if we do the cross section. Okay, so just click on the roof use the segment tool, segment area, and then select the rectangular selection and just draw a rectangle of your area of your interest. Perfect, right click to finish it and select the red button, segment in. This segment out will select all the areas that are outside of the rectangle. If you select segment in, it will select only the points that are inside the rectangle, all right? So now we have this area. I want to save this. I click the green check mark and it should appear up there in the database tree. All right, and now I have uh, some more cleaning to do. And I always clean this uh, information with my selection tool, rectangular selection tool. So this is a harder example to clean out. Um, first, you have to clean out all the unnecessary points, which are not of your interest there, which are these ones and these points. How you can clean this up is first use the uh, 
uh, cross section. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Yep. And this. And we can just, yes, focus on this area too. Perfect. Uh, we're going to save this. First, we have to slice it. It will take some time, some five seconds or so. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see it's working. Yeah, come on, come on. All right, take some time. And once this is finished, uh, we can clean all the other unnecessary files. Okay, we have it here, you see? And now we have to just clean this part, that part, this part, and this part. And this just involves some more segmentation uh, processes. All right, which we can do with this icon right here or this segment tool. And this is how you inspect laser scans with the laser scanning software. Okay. Uh, and if you want to go back, you can always go back and uh, return to your previous laser scan right here. And then work with this one and select other areas of interest. You can also, for example, select this table if you want to and work with that table. It's really up to you. This exercise is just for you to practice your laser scanning skills. Okay, so this is all about this uh, exercise. And we will have uh, two sessions this week where you can ask me also questions. Uh, uh, if you struggle, I can help you with that. Okay. Thank you.